Hi again. Um, I know I'm in this terrible lighting still and this crazy hair and you can tell it's like all this uh, splotchiness and all this craziness. So um, I apologize for that, but I had to do this video um, because I had mentioned in my previous video on my beauty haul and from Target and Elf and if you haven't seen it, I'll post it in the bottom bar below since it's my first haul and my first video. Um, about this new face regimen I'm starting, which is a lot of the reason why all of, I don't, I don't really care if you guys see, um, it's like really red, um, yeah, it's just, my nose is like on fire and my forehead's actually pretty good, but, um, I want to just, uh, just say that, um, I'm going to a facialist and I, I had mentioned that, but I, I didn't really go into like detail about it. Um, facials are great, but I'm a college student and, you know, it can be kind of hard to like afford a facialist on a budget. So I actually contacted one via email and she gives skincare recommendations based on like your everyday and like what products you're currently using and she even typed out this little thing and the check marks are like my beauty routine. So I just wanted to share that in case anyone's really like thinking, okay, one of my New Year's resolutions is to get more like clear skin or it's just something that I've wanted forever. I'm just going to kind of like say what my facialist did for me. And if you live in the Chicago land area, Daniela is great. Um, it's just pretty much Daniela's facials and there's a whole facial studio and she also does waxing but like her facials are amazing and she, she does um consultations over email and you don't even have to pay for anything and I got this entire thing full of products well little, little samples you'll be able to see in a minute I'll pull them out um for free and I'm gonna I mean obviously I'm gonna go visit her and get a facial and and um, after I've used these products because her philosophy is that if you don't have a good base to start with which I don't well, a lot of this is brought on by the products, but um, I didn't have a good base. Like, I have really oily skin. You can even see it out in this terrible lighting. It's it's really obvious. So, um, I want to take, just take care of it. Get rid of it once and for all. So, I'm going to share some of the products with you and the regimen that, I will, that I'm going to be using. So, you'll see this face, which is the worst. And then, hopefully, in a week or two, when I make a new video, um, it won't look like this anymore. It'll look much, much better. So, um, the first thing is to remove your makeup and in my previous video um, I showed my e.l.f. Um, makeup remover cleansing cloth. There's 20 pre moistened cloths. It was three dollars so I'm going to use this. Um, second, um, cleanse thoroughly using your hands or a complexion brush twice a day. Rinse thoroughly. Um, Mark Lee's Aqua Clear. I'm just going to pour all these little tubes out. She was so nice to send me this stuff. Um, this is the Aqua, Aqua Clear Cleanser. Um, it doesn't really come in this, but this is the, the sample bottle. But I'll open it up. Let's see if you can... It's, it's very, very light. Um, it smells very, like, minty. Um, it, it looks like it's going to um, build into a great lather. Um, so I'm really excited to use it. It's supposed to be really good for combination because I have these oil spots here, but then kind of out towards the edges of my face, it gets really dry. So it's supposed to be really good for that. Um, then tone with five to six sprays directly on the face, um, twice a day. Do not blot. And this is the, um, my toner is, um, Daniela's Pollution Solution. And it came in this little, little bottle. Um, so five to six sprays on the face, twice a day after cleansing. Do not rip. It kind of smells like, um, the, where is it? The Aqua Clear cleanser. So it'll, it'll be a good do I also like that it's clear. I understand that like oh, some toners aren't clear and I, um, Daniela really focuses on like um, natural ingredients so um, makes me feel a little bit better that it's clear but that, I'm just rambling now. Um, the third step is repair which according to Daniela I don't have to do. I don't, I don't understand that but well, I, I'm putting my faith in her. Um, then I have to treat blemishes. So if I do get any blemishes which apparently right now my face is that's all it is um, it is this rescue gel and you apply um, to blemishes or blemished areas morning and or night and under clay mask which I'll show in a second. So this is the um, Daniela's rescue gel. So the toner and the gel are both her own um, creation. So um, she actually has her own product line. It smells extremely minty. It almost smells like um, Vicks Vapor Rub. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to really tingle on my skin and... Um, hopefully take care of all of these imperfections that I'm dealing with right now. That that's only when needed. So that's an optional third third step. Um, then exfoliate um, with Daniela's Crystal um, Clarity, which is 
she has in parentheses a gentle scrub and once a week. So it's my little sample. This is what it looks like. Um, it looks just like you would think a clay mask would look. You can kind of see it better on the cap. Um, doesn't really have a smell. It smells kind of earthy. And it's very gritty. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's it's very gritty. Um, it, supposedly it's gentle, so um, I'm excited to test it out and, and see what it's like. And then um, in the AM, my AM um, Hydrate and Protect, my AM moisturizer will be the Markley Stratigard SPF 15, which is good in front. It says all skin types. Where is my Stratoclear? I don't even know what's going on. That's my here it is. So 15 SPF. It's white, it's very milky and creamy, and it smells like very fresh. Kind of has like a hint of citrus. That just might be me because I have my I'm sick and I've had the flu for the past like three weeks, it seems like. So might just be me, but I'm really excited to use it. It it looks like it's gonna be something that I can apply very um you know, use like a tiny amount and a little will go a long way type of thing. So I'm excited for that. Make my samples last longer. Um, and then in the in the in the evening, at one after I do this routine, um, I'm supposed to use the Mike or sorry, excuse me, Mark Lee's Hydro uh, Fluide Combination Oily Skin. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Here it is, Hydro Fluide. Again, it's white. It's like kind of like the Stratigard. It's very creamy. It smells a little bit milky, kind of like maybe some oatmeal, some honey. So I'm excited to use that in the PM. And then once a week, um, I'm, I'm supposed to use this um, Queen Helene. I'm probably saying that wrong. Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. And I'm also supposed to use it as a spot treatment over the Rescue Gel. So when I use the Blue Rescue Gel, I'm supposed to use this over top of it as like a spot treatment. It smells just like mint julep. It smells like a, some, you know, ground up mint on top. That's my mask that I use once a week. She also included, since I have such dark, well, you can't really tell in this light, and I also have a little bit of concealer on. Believe it or not, I have a little bit of makeup on this. Um, I have really, really dark circles in my eyes. You can kind of even tell here, they get really super puffy. And up here, it's like, they're like, all of this puff. So... She recommended either, and I have to, I get to try them out and see which one I like best. Um, hold these, pop these out real quick. I should have had this done. The Firming Peptide Eye Cream, which is a milky color. I keep saying milky for everything. Doesn't really have a smell, which is good. I don't really like smells that much. Um, and it says for the Firming Peptide Eye Cream, it is for dark under eye circles, fine lines, and puffiness with dryness. So I might not, I might not be using this one just because my, you can tell it's like super shiny and oily. It's not really dry at all. I have dryness to, towards the outside, but not really my eyes. And this is the Instant Firming Eye Gel. And this kind of has like a light caramel color. Um, like a, really like, again, no smell, which I really appreciate. It's, I mean, it's translucent. It's it looks very light, which is good since my skin is so oily. And this says um, for dark under eye circles, fine lines, and puffiness without dryness, which will probably work better for me. But I'm going to use both in the spirit of trying new things. But I have a feeling that the instant firming eye gel is going to be a little bit better than the firming peptide just because I do have a lot of oil going on in my T-zone and underneath my eyes. So that's my regimen. Um, I'm going to try to follow it to an exact T and see if this problem... Can go away because I'd really like it to because I'd really like some fresh skin to apply all this wonderful um, makeup to and um, I'll let you know and maybe in like a week or two I'll have beautiful skin that would be really nice um, to start the new year and go back to school with. Anyways thanks for watching!